Hey guys, I'm coming to you with another grocery haul. This is our weekly haul. And um, with the self-quarantine, my husband and I are both out of work right now. We're both furloughed, so yeah. But his job was actually nice enough to give him a couple gift cards for groceries. So um, that's what we're using at the moment. And I don't have everything out here because I had started to put stuff away. Because, you know, if you got kids at home... If you don't put it away right away, they start going absolutely crazy eating up stuff. So, um, I actually got three gallons of milk, but I only put one out. Um, I did get more. I got about six packs of hot dogs. So, yeah, and I got the original and I got cheese franks in bun length. So, I didn't put them all out. I just wanted to show you. Um, kind of what we got. Um, I got a lot of lunch meats for the kids. Breakfast sausage. Um, I did get a few more meats. I got a chuck steak for um, a recipe. And they had a really good sale on the ribs. So I got some ribs. That's only $4 a pack. So that was a really good deal. I got some leg quarters um, because it was like $2.70 a pack. Really good deal. And I actually used one of those today and made some chicken and dumplings. And um, my husband was so upset because I actually scorched it. And so now I'm on the recovery mission for the scorched chicken and dumplings. So hopefully I can fix that so it's not a waste. But, yes. Um, I got some baking mix, just in case. Um, Martin's was having a really good deal on the pasta sauce. These were 10 for $10. I only got about three of them. Um, but, yeah, 10 for $10 for the pasta sauce was a really good deal. Um, and they actually had a lot of pasta. So, I did get some pasta. The pasta was also 10 for 10 um, so I got thin spaghetti and macaroni noodles. Um, I got some burritos for the kids. Shoo, 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 shoo. My nosy kitty. I got some sweet and sour sauce for some recipes. My kids like Chinese, so we'll probably have a stir fry here or there. I got two more dozen eggs. Um, and... If you're in the grocery store, you'll see that they actually post a limit on some of the things that you can get. Eggs is one of those limits. So, they're only allowing you to get two dozen at the time. Um, I did get some cleaning vinegar. Um, and I did break down and buy some sugar. I haven't bought sugar in over a year because me and my family are trying to kick the sugar. Um, it's not really good for you and everything else, but I figured we probably needed it for certain recipes or so forth that you can't use other sugar substitutes for. Um, I did get the kids a bunch of this drink mix. I got about eight or nine of them. I've only got four out. Um, I got them some hot chocolates and some apples. The oranges were a dollar each, but they're huge. They're bigger than my hand, so that was okay. I got some black tea and uh, two cantaloupes. The cantaloupes were 99 cents each. Um, I did get some Diet Pepsi, and I got about three of those. Um, I got some saltine crackers for soups or what have you. Uh, we needed some ketchup, so I got some ketchup. Parmesan for the spaghetti recipes. Um, some more coffee. And we had to get cheese. We were, we kind of, we're a family who loves cheese, so we kind of go through it a lot. 
So I got two different types of cheese. Both American slices. But yes, I got two of those. And hopefully this will not last long being self-quarantined. So hopefully we can go back to normal sooner or later. I still haven't been able to find toilet paper in our local stores. However, I was able to find toilet paper at Dollar General of all places. Dollar General. And typically I think it's because they limit you to one package per customer. So I did go ahead and get one four count package of toilet paper from Dollar General. And hopefully that'll last for a while. Mm, considering we're all at home, probably not. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to go back to the stores and uh, find more toilet paper. This toilet paper shortage is just crazy. Who's starting them? Charmin's stock must be through the roof right now because you cannot find toilet paper anywhere. It's just crazy. And I, I apologize for my voice. Um, as I told you in an earlier video, we've got colds. No corona here. It's just a cold. Um, but yeah, my voice is being affected because of that. So I apologize for how I sound. I know I sound horrific. Um, but yeah, we're struggling through it. And this is just a small um, weekly haul. And like I said, I did do it at a Martin's because of the fact that my husband's job gave him some Martin's gift cards as a thank you for, um, well, as an appreciation for the employees. They gave them to all the employees um, to try to help them out in this drastic time. So, again, we are so thankful for them. They, yeah, although they had to send us home and lay us off, for the time being, um, they're still very supportive and everything's making sure they send the emails, checking on us and all the good stuff. So um, I hope you and your families are safe during this time. And I'm going to stop talking pretty soon because my voice is going out even more. Um, but yes. I hope everybody is safe and um, just kind of trying to enjoy your life together. Man, it's just crazy. And don't mind all, I've got a hell a lot of laundry to fold. Being at home, all I can do is do laundry and catch up on laundry and all the good stuff. So, yeah. I can foresee a bunch of cleaning videos in the future. I hope you guys enjoy and be safe, be kind to each other, and try to live through this self-quarantine um, as steadfast as possible. Hope it passes us by pretty quickly. It's getting pretty interesting um, as far as everything in our area. We're in Indiana, and um, we were one of the uh, first states to go ahead and do the self-lockdown. And only gas stations, grocery stores, and things like that are open. The kids have been out of school for about a week and a half now. And, yeah, it's been real. I went from being a mom and a working mom to being a teacher as well so this e-learning thing for the kids is really um it's really different so we're trying to cope and trying to adapt to new life 
hopefully this doesn't last long um but yeah we shall see a lot of my cleaning clients have canceled due to the restrictions um i do have a couple cleaning clients that i still have um as well as my 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 job um my part-time job that i was working as well they have been so gracious as to saying that we will still get paid even though we're being kept at home so that's a godsend so thank you lord for that but yeah and and um if you haven't subscribed please do we need your supports we love you stay safe Again, I apologize for my voice, and hopefully that'll get better soon. I love y'all. Have a good day.